Welcome you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So I get this question a lot, like how do I get shadowing? How do I get shadowing? How do I get shadowing? And um, sometimes, you know, I'm like, oh, you guys just go ahead, go go. That's kind of what I did. I didn't realize it was so difficult to get shadowing. Um, but I have found, or I thought of, Three new ways I want to bring to you guys, three new ways that you guys can get shadowing hours. And so that is what this video is going to be about. So for each and every one of you that are still looking for shadowing, this video is for you. So my first option for you all to get shadowing is by contacting the local state PA chapter. Now that may be like MAPA or DAPA or CAPA or FAPA or TAPA. Like, I don't know what they're considered in your state. Um, I went to school in Virginia, so it was VAPA. Um, Colorado was CAPA. So essentially it is your Virginia Academy of Physician Assistants or your Pennsylvania Academy of Physician Assistants. So you just go ahead into Google. Google is our friend. Google that information, say local state, PA chapter, um, and it will typically take you to the website, and then on there you can go through um, and look at the contact information. Those usually, those websites usually have areas where people are trying to mentor, or they have opportunities for students to shadow. Um, the the actual state chapters are usually filled with individuals who want to help others become PAs, so they're more so willing to help you um, get those shadowing hours and. And they might already be in the actual mode of being um, of being a preceptor, so it might just be an easier fix or an easier flow for you. So I think that that is a really good way, a really good opportunity to actually get shadowing hours is by contacting your local state chapter. And again, Google is a friend, so just Google that. Um, and from there, you can navigate on where exactly you need to go to get in contact with somebody that will be able to help you with that. If there is no specific like actual tab on the website that says like, pre-PA shadowing or mentoring, just go to their contact us section and contact them and say, hey, you know, I am a pre-PA student. I really love this profession. I want to get into it. Um, how do I get some, I need somebody to shadow. Do you, can you point me in the right direction? And I am pretty sure they will be more than happy to do so. All right, so my second suggestion is for you all to reach out on social media. Now, yes, we are here, you know, I'm on the YouTube sphere. I am officially a certified and licensed PA, but I'm not practicing yet. And so with that being said, like I can't necessarily help you in terms of, you know, allowing you to come shadow me, but there are so many licensed practicing PAs on social media. Um, on Instagram and on YouTube that are more than willing to help you all um, and become your mentor. So reach out to these people, ask to be their, you know, their mentee. And then at the same time, you know, talk about like getting shadowing hours or asking them if they can look into a way that you can get somebody to shadow because that is important. And they will, I mean, if they're bold, you know, if they're nice enough to be like, yes, then likely they are also nice enough to help help you with your shadowing experience. So I think that that is a really good way because there's so many PAs on specifically Instagram. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and you kind of just get plugged into my community there. But there is a large PA community on Instagram and you know a developing one here on YouTube um, so that you, and on Facebook, that you can reach out to in the various different Facebook groups and things like that so that you can get those shadowing hours in. Because again, I know how difficult that can be. So lastly, um, my suggestion is for you all to be bold. Now, this is typically kind of what I tell you guys anyways, which is how I got my rotation sites um, and then how I also like just kind of got in the door in other areas. I was bold. I cold called. I looked up on Google like PAs in my area or hospitals in my area when I was looking for my rotations and I called everyone and I was like, hey, do you guys accept students, you know, at your hospital? And 
this is the exact same thing that you guys can do, but for your shadowing experience. So it might be a little bit easier to do this with offices, you know, like private run offices. You call them and be like, hey, you know, I am a pre-PA student and I'm looking for volunteer experience where I can get to shadow a PA and just kind of get to see how an orthopedic clinic is ran or how an internal medicine or primary care clinic is ran. Is that an opportunity that you guys offer? Now, if they don't offer it, okay, keep it moving. Move on to the next one. Continue to make those calls and look and see where in your area you can get somebody to actually say yes because you just need one. And then once you get that one, you will build that relationship. Go in there, you be nice, you're friendly, you're happy, you bring them a, a thank you gift or a thank you card so that you continue on with that relationship. So if you need more shadowing hours, you can contact them in another three months and see if, hey, you know, can I come back again? Now, in that being bold, I don't know if you all remember my interview with Donnie, who is the director of Howard's PA program, but he talked about traveling across the country to get shadowing hours. And I thought that that was such an ingenious idea. I did have one question for you because I get this question a lot. I know that one of your most important tips was shadowing yes. a PA. Um, but from what I've heard, it's hard to shadow a PA. So what do you suggest um, you know, people who are having a hard time finding a PA to shadow do? That's, um, a, that's a really good question. Um, something I would do is I'm pretty sure you may know people who know who may know a PA in a different location. So if you're willing to even travel to a friend's location, or if you know someone that's gotten into PA school, they may know some PAs as well. But you have to be willing to travel. Um, something that I did, I was in Alabama, and I found a friend of mine who knew a PA in California, and I went. So oh, wow. it's. It, it's, so he's it's, talking about really travel, not like you just going 30 minutes outside of your radius. Like you're willing to fly out for a week or two weeks to yeah. actually make the sacrifice because this is what you want to do. Exactly. And when people, sh when you show that, that, hey, you go to an interview and like, listen, I want to be a PA so bad, I traveled 400 miles. I got on a plane and went somewhere. People look at them like, wow, they really want to be a PA. If you're in a position to do that, or if you're not in a position, you know, find a way to make that possible because sometimes it's important for you to be bold. What is that saying? Fortune favors the bold. So be bold, cold call, do what you need to do and actually go out there and see if there are areas that you haven't thought of or haven't tapped into yet that will allow you to get those shadowing hours. Hopefully this is helpful. I mean, I didn't necessarily think of some of these ideas before, but I thought of them and was like, oh, let me share this with my subscribers. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you have any other suggestions on ways that you can get shadowing hours, or if you're in like an area and you got shadowing hours and you know that there's a place that will allow shadowing for other students, please leave that in the comment section below or send me a private email and then I can like make a video of that as well. If you have any comments for me, go ahead and leave that as well. And if you have not already done so, go ahead, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!